have brand new airbags, but this is my mock-up airbag. It's got a hole worn in it there from rubbing on the frame of the pickup. I'll show you those in a minute. And uh, I got some 316 steel. I'm going to fabricate airbag mounts for the minivan so I can tow trailers and so that it, I can make it sit level. It doesn't look like I'm overloaded with electrical tools. Alright, this is under the minivan. I gotta put airbags in here. I can probably fit an airbag here. If I take this rubber out and then Wow, it doesn't look like I'm ever gonna get this spare tire down. Hope I don't get a flat. And this looks like it's probably a three inch axle. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do this. Pretty much gotta go there. I'm gonna start by taking that spare tire down because it looks like it's not gonna come down. <laughs> it's pretty rusted in there and we might need it one day. So, plus it's in the way for everything as well as that exhaust pipe is in the way for the airbag. I might have to come down too. I'll just cut it and run it out the side of the van there or something. I was prepared for having a flat. So this drawer comes all the way out. 19 millimeter might do it. Solved my weight problem right there. Been hauling around a truckload of gravel. The old snubber came off with one rusty old bolt. And that's the basic mock up of how the airbag's going to sit. Of course, there's nothing supporting it there, so we got to make a bracket come out here and up and probably over and under this bolt. Nut, that is. And then we'll make a bracket come out here and weld to this axle, if you can call it an axle. And then we'll be good. We'll have the uh, toughest minivan around. So my less than perfect. I broke my brake line. So I'll have no back brakes till I, till I get new ones. I took uh, this piece that was the other half of, of this, whole saw a hole in it, in the other end, and then that's what I used up here. I just went against that big body nut. I, I was afraid if I take the nut off to put something under it that uh, it's not a stud, it's a bolt, and I don't want to take the toolbox out of the truck to deal with that. So I just welded right to the nut. Uh, it's not a very good weld, but, but this is a nice weld here. And uh, we got some nice welds around the sides and, and a little spot weld on the back side. Alright, got the one side done. We can carry a lot more weight now. So, I'm just going to cut this off right here. There we go. Now I'll just extend this at some point. And right out the side. So, 
this is what it looks like before modification. I've pulled the exhaust pipe out that just came through here. But uh, this is the bolt that I reinforced the airbag against. This is the frame-ish that I weld it to. And then this is the stopper for the old bumper that, that uh, I rest the plate on and then the plate gets welded on here. So again, I gotta cut this brake line off. Doesn't matter much now if I break it since the other one's broken. The back brakes are no good. I got no plug to plug the one side, so. Yeah, the top mount. I see in there. And the bottom mount. Hold it to the side. There's no doubt that this will hold up great. So just before it gets dark, I'll show you the four pieces of steel I used to make uh, the mount on one side of the, the van. Uh, this is just a 6x5 plate. The air valve comes through there. I haven't drilled that hole yet. This is what welds to the axle. And this is the bottom plate, which is also 5x6, but it's, uh, it's cut out from my Melba Toast pattern. Actually upside down for this side. Lots of use out of that Melbatose box. And then this piece is just random. It's got a one inch hole out of it. That's That goes around the nut. But it's random because it was the other half of this this piece there. I was going to use a flat bar and then I thought, what the heck? So underneath the, the van, this gets welded in on the nut. This gets welded in on this, uh, actually it's on this one, on this outside edge. This gets welded around here. This gets welded around the axle, both sides. And that's it. That's all there is to putting airbags on a crappy old minivan. It used 36 and a half inches. Um, it should actually only be 36 inches, but there's a half inch probably taken up with, with the zippy cut wheel cuts. Well, as usual, it's dark when I'm just about finished here. About a shot of the airbags with a bit of air in them and uh, all mounted. So, still gotta mount the, uh, the valves. I'm planning on putting them on the trailer hitch somehow there. Well, I can need a new brake line. Besides that, we're, that's done. I'm gonna put a trailer hitch on now. That goes. It was really handy having a mock up because I got to weld with it on there and caught it on fire a few times.